Let's take a look at converting fractions into decimals and percents. If we have a fraction, in order to convert it into a decimal, all we need to do is divide the top number by the bottom number. Because a fraction, all it really is is division that hasn't been worked out. So let's just go ahead and work it out. You might know some of these basic ones, but if you don't, that's okay. Grab a calculator and we can figure them out. Take one fourth. We just take one divided by four, which gives us 0.25. So here we have one fourth equals 0.25. That's a, a decimal. Let's take a look at the next one. Five sevenths. Same deal. Divide the top number by the bottom number to get our decimal. 5 divided by 7 equals, okay, big mess. Let's uh, round it to the nearest. Let's take three decimals. So here we've got a 4. Look at the 2. Well, the 2 is less than 5, so we keep the 4. So it would be 0 0.714 is our decimal. 0 0.714. Let's try this next one, 3 eighths. To make that conversion again, we're going to divide 3 divided by 8, which gives us 0.375. Okay, how about this one? 11 over 25. Again, we just divide. 11 divided by 25 gives us 0.44. Here we have another one, 17 over 50. 17 divided by 50 gives us 0.34 and last but not least we've got 45 divided by 100 it gives us 0.45 okay there we converted all those fractions into decimals that's very handy if we are given something as a fraction and we want to use a calculator. Not all calculators work well with fractions. And we can make that conversion to a decimal and work with it that way. Generally, that will be a little bit easier for us. So it's very important that we know that uh, conversion. Next, uh, we want to convert those fractions into percents. Well, a midpoint step in that is converting them to a decimal first. So now that we have them into decimals, we can convert them into percents by simply moving the decimal two places to the right. So here we've got 0.25. Let me change colors. If I want to convert 0.25 into a percent, I simply move the decimal point two places to the right, and this would be equal to 25%. Same thing here. Whenever we're converting a decimal into a percent, we're always going to move it two places. Doesn't matter how many decimal places we have, it's always going to be two places to the right. So two spots, one, two, we get 71.4%. Here again, two spots, 37.5%. This one, two spots equals 44 percent two spots equals 34 percent and this one two spots equals 45 oops 45 percent okay let's look at a couple more real quick just to make sure we know where we're at Let's say we have an improper fraction. Let's say we have something like this. How about uh, 7 over 4? Okay, we can make the conversion the same way by simply dividing. So we grab our calculator again, and we're going to take 7 and divide it by 4. Top number divided by the bottom number, always, gives us 1.75. So we get 1.75. There's our decimal. Now to convert that into a percent, still two spots to the right. So one, two, and we get 175%. Now 
Now, another thing that's important to know, these are all the same value, they're just different ways of writing it. So 1 fourth is exactly the same as 0.25, which is exactly the same as 25%. That should get you on your way for converting fractions into decimals and percents.